this is a quick tutorial on how you can put your um, Roblox avatar in Blender so you can make some cr crazy GFX and just for YouTube and all that crazy stuff. So this is pretty simple. Um, what I first do, uh, I have a plugin called uh, Load Character. It's basically loading any character I want. Let's just do. Uh, is, oh, I guess this is do my character because why not? Right. So now we get my character in. Uh, we also need to open the. Make sure your explore tabs open. And of course, and you want to click go here and ungroup. Now, of course, you're just going to pose your character the way you want it to. Um, I'll just do, uh, let's see, I could do, let's just do this. All right, I'm going to skip, I'm going to skip the video, so see you in a second. There we go. Now that you have your uh, your character um, model, of course this is not. Of course I was too lazy to make this perfect. So yeah. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. All right. So now you want to uh, take highlight. The, use your left mouse and click and highlight everything. Then just take this and then, uh, click on the group. Oh my God! What is that? Okay. Uh, that was odd. So now it's called your workspace. I, I don't know. There we go. So now we got, uh, so now that you have your group thing, uh, you right click, uh, export the selection. And of course, just, I like saving it to my, uh, thumbnails. And then I do, and then I make sure to save it as an OBJ, and just do your test dummy, I guess. I don't know. Test dummy. All right. So now that's done. Uh, I'm gonna go hop in Blender, and we're gonna do the rest of the tutorial. So see you in one, two, three. All right. So now that we're in Blender, uh, we have uh, just our default world. Just um, delete this, just press the X key, and I hit enter, because we don't need that cube. I want to go, file, import, uh, way front here, and just find whatever you're looking for. I put, I would recommend putting your, uh, putting uh, your OBJs in a folder, just so it's so much less confusing. Now find the OBJ file, and just let it load. All right, it's in. There it is over there. Now you got a source which is right here. So I just drag it back into the the base plate. Ooh, okay, that's not what I wanted. And drag. Uh, now your character's in the base. The problem is you um you can't see your textures. So click on this uh, plus button and click on textured solid. And it's just it's just below the multi texture, and there we go. Now your character's in, pretty cool. But now we need to make this more realistic. By the way, the resolution is just how high quality you want your resolution to be, and I would set this fifty percent all the way to a hundred for the best quality. It's pretty fast for my computer, which is great. Now you you need to click on this little Earth. There's a few things that could make this much better. We're just going to click ambient conclusion, occlusion, environmental lighting, and indirect lighting. Just to um, spicy, spice up the lighting a bit. Now, just now here you want to press the zero on your keypad. That's what it's called. Um, then press shift F. And now you can move your camera completely with your mouse and WASD and of course just position to what you like your uh, 
the, kit, the pose to be. I, I'll do it right there. This looks good. And press enter. Great, now you got that done. Uh, you have this light, and you could just simply drag this to the right spot, depends on what kind of... Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. So drag this. Alright, now that's done. Just press zero again. And uh, zero on your num key. Make sure because if you press the zero on top of your uh on top of your keyboard, you you delete everything. But don't worry, you can just redo uh, redo, I believe. Now I will click render, render image. And we just gotta let this load. No, yeah. Alright, so make sure all right, so then scroll down, I believe. Shading. Go to go to the little picture, go to shading, and then change this alpha to transparent. Just makes it makes the background transparent. And then render the image. Just let it do its thing, don't don't uh you know, speed it up by yourself. Alright guys, so now that it's loaded, you've got your beautiful GFX image, whatever you have. Uh, now you gotta click image, then save as image, or F3 as a short key. Then of course, name it your GFX test dummy. Beautiful. Save as the image. There you go, all done. Now we're just gonna hop into uh, paint.net where we can just do whatever you deserve to do. Or Photoshop, your choice. So, be right back. Uh, paint.net this beautiful masterpiece. Um, I, don't, I don't care anymore. All right. So, what you want to do is uh, obviously add your GFX, but first we gotta add a new layer. Of course, this you can also do this in Photoshop, but if you're in Paint.net, just to transparent the background, add a new layer. Then, of course, open your file to whatever you want. Go down and find your TIS dummy PNG. And there you go, and then copy it. Of course, keep the canvas size if you wanna. Then, uh, where is it? There we go. So yeah. So now you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, it's pretty good high quality, pretty lit quality. And of course, just do whatever you do. So there you go. That's how you uh. And put it uh, in a paint dot. That's how you make your port your Roblox character blender, and so you can make better thumbnails, etc. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.